This video is gonna be about where you can get one of these, all right? So when I posted the uh, video, everything you need to know about staffies, I got a huge response from not only the people in Europe, but well, Europe and Australia where staffies are really popular, but the people in the United States, everyone's asking, where can I get one of these dogs? Where can I get a staffie? A lot of people in the States have never heard of them. And I know it's hard to believe all you guys who live in England where Staffies originated in Australia. There's a million of them and that's because in Europe, I guess, pit bulls aren't legal. So therefore, the closest thing to a pit bull is a Staffie there. So if you guys are looking for a small dog that's like a pit bull, all those characteristics that you love about pit bulls, you know, their look, their affectionate dog, super loyal, brave, then watch this video and I'll show you how I got Shadow and how you guys can get a uh, English Daffy. So there's probably only around, I'd say 20 breeders in the States for them as far as AKC official show dogs. So all I did was I went on the AKC website, I went to find puppies, I put in Staffordshire Bull Terrier, that's the Staffies or English Daffy, whatever you want to call the, the Staffy dog, that's their official name. And I just went and I looked at who has puppies. So when I first discovered Staffies, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna go to the shelters. I'm gonna find a Staffy puppy. But the problem is there's no Staffies in shelters in the United States. They're extremely rare. You won't find them in shelters. So you have to go to a breeder in order to get one. So I was on their website and they come in black, white, brindle, red, blue, and I really like the blue, the bluer, you know, the gray, they call them blue, but it's really a gray, grayish coat. Um, I really love those ones, but I did some research and I guess the blue ones have a little bit more issues with skin issues and allergies and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure some of them are great, some of them are fine. But uh, being that I was gonna get a purebred dog, I was like, I don't want any issues. I was deciding on red or black, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna go with the black one. In Louisiana, I found this breeder, it was Absolute, I think. And I'll show a picture of Shadow's dad and Shadow's mom on here. Great looking dogs. And those two pictures that you probably see, I'll probably throw them up are what sold me on Shadow. I was like, man, these dogs look freaking awesome. They're winning competitions for racing and stuff like that. They're show dogs. Let's do it. So the price range of a Staffy is anywhere between, I'd say 1500 on the low end. And I wouldn't probably spend more than 2500 on a Staffy. Right around 2000 bucks is what I paid for Shadow. But Shadow was in Louisiana. I live in Arizona. So I had to figure out how the hell am I gonna get shadow here so um, i talked to the breeder she said oh you could fly here being that he's so small the the airline if you pay like 200 bucks or something this is way before the emotional support animal stuff you could carry you know your dog and then fly him back but that was that was looking like 700 bucks you know on top of what i already paid for shadow but luckily i found this service that actually could drive shadow from louisiana to scottsdale for 400 dollars. it was around 2500 dollars the whole entire process for me to get shadow at eight weeks drove here to Arizona so that was the whole entire process guys you just go on the AKC website Staffordshire Bull Terrier it's gonna be rare for you to find a staffy, so don't put in gender or anything like that but chances are you're probably gonna have to wait a while because there's so few breeders that not every breeder has puppies right away so even the ones that say no puppies available right now, maybe get in contact with them because I think it was about four or five months maybe even longer that I decided, hey, I'm gonna get a dog. I did my research, I found, I discovered Staffies. It might've been like six months by the time I had the idea that I was gonna get a Staffie to the actual time where I got Shadow. So yeah, that's the first thing you wanna do is figure out the type of dog that you want, the type of dog that fits you, your personality, your activity levels and all that stuff. And the Staffie just fit. I didn't want a pit bull because they were just a little bit too big because I knew I wanted to fly with them and travel and do all that stuff. That extra even 10, 20 pounds more of a dog I couldn't do. So yeah, Shadow ended up being a great dog. And I hope this helps for you guys listening in the States. I know the people from Australia and um, Europe, you guys are littered with staffies. They're actually a problem. They're in shelters everywhere. But in the States, it's very rare for a staffie to be in a shelter. So I literally couldn't find one in the whole entire United States that I could find in a shelter. If you guys, I would definitely look there first just in case. But yeah, the AKC website is where I got Shadow. So 
Hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more videos on Shadow. Um, I do uh, Jeep videos and of course fitness videos. So see you guys next time. and then he'll yawn. <laughs> You've been in here five minutes. <laughs> Did you do that? Hmm? Hmm? Did you do that?